Hi there, it's Miss Lisa. I'm so glad we get to be together today. Did you know that I love going to the beach? And when I'm at the beach, I like to sit in the sand and imagine what it would be like to be an ocean animal swimming under the sea. Do you like to do that too? Well, today I wanna to tell you about a project that you can do at home if you like to play with ocean animals and imagine what it would be like to live under the sea. Items that you'll need for this project are some things that you might have at home, and they include this here. It's called a sheet pan. You can use this for baking cookies at home. It's something that your grownups may or may not have already. If you don't have a sheet pan and you wanna just use a tabletop, then all you need to do is get this plastic wrap or maybe some wax or parchment paper and tape that down to a table. Tin foil can work just fine too. We want the surface that you're using to stay clean and dry and be um, good for easy cleanup because what we're going to put on our sheet pan or the plastic wrap that you have is this and it's called shaving cream. On top of the shaving cream, we have food coloring. The color that I choose, food coloring, is blue because we're gonna use this to make an ocean scene. The last item that you'll need to pretend and imagine what it would be like to be an ocean animal would be some ocean animal toys. Anything that you might have at home or a friend or a neighbor might have for you to borrow is just fine. The ocean animals that I have at my house are going to be a surprise today. I thought that we could play a game together, a guessing game, for you to guess what animals I'm going to use to do our ocean project with. Would you like to do that? So for this guessing game, I'm gonna give you clues just like we do at school. But I'm also gonna show you just a little piece of each one of these ocean animals and let you decide what you think they might be. Think you wanna make a guess? Okay, let's get started. The first ocean animal that I have at my house that I thought would be fun to use with our project is this one. And I'll show you just a little piece of the top of its head. This ocean animal, can you help me guess? is kind of orange or reddish in color. It has a very round, kind of what's called a bulbous head. It also has eight legs. I'm showing you some of them now. It's very, very smart, sometimes shy, and can hide in very, very tight spaces. Do you have a guess? Do you know? Did you say it was an octopus? If you did, you were correct. That's the first ocean animal I'm gonna use for our project today. Do you wanna see the next one? Would you like to guess? Okay. The next animal that we're gonna use for this project, I'll show you just a little piece of it. Get ready to see. It has a tail that looks like this and a very, very interesting shaped head with two eyes on either side. And remember, it lives in the ocean and it swims and has a fin. Can you see that? Did you guess it was some sort of a shark? You were correct. Do you know which kind? It's a hammerhead. And that's the second ocean animal we're gonna use today for my project. Can you see that? It's very interesting, very cool ocean animal. So far we have an octopus and a hammerhead shark. I'm gonna show you my next one. It's also orange and has lots of legs, but it's not an octopus. The arms or legs that, his, that it has has kind of sharp pinchers on it. And you may have seen these in the sand. Have you made a guess yet? It has, has some black kind of beady eyes. You ready to see the whole thing? It's a crab. See those sharp pinchers? That likes to live in the ocean too. Okay, and how about my last one before we get started with our project? This one likes to be in the sand as well as in the sea. Can you see the top of its head? It barks 
but it's not a dog. Here comes its face. It's a seal. Did you guess that? Good job. All right, let's get started with making our project. Remember I talked about our sheet pan and our shaving cream? You wanna go ahead and grab that. Take your shaving cream, pop it open and shake it up. And then let's give it a good spray. See if we can kind of mound that up so you can see it. All right, see that okay? You can use Good spot to also do this in could be the bathtub. Have you ever done that before? Make sure your grown-ups are okay with that too. Okay, I'm gonna put that down and open up my food coloring. Add just a few little dots and mix it up. Mix it up and mix it up. It's getting kind of blue. And if you can see, it's looking like the ocean that also has what looks like white foam in it sometimes too. I think I'll add a little more blue food coloring. Mix it up and mix it up. Ooh, that's looking really cool. Wow. We can spread that all over. Tray. Okay. And start adding the fun stuff, which are animals. Remember we had the octopus? He likes to swim in the ocean water. There he is. And our seal. Do you think he's friends with the octopus? He likes to live way over here. Checking all of this other sea creatures out, like this crab. There he is. And our hammerhead shark. He's gonna dive deep into the waves. Maybe underneath here. You can just see his tail and his fin. The last surprise I have are these starfish. And I'll plop them right over there. You can create your own ocean scene with whatever animals you might have at home. I hope you have so much fun and I thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.